Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Technopoly 411, the show that takes technology, reaches it, makes it, and spits it out. Here are your hosts, Nick Wadier, Sarah Rajik, and Mike Tesla. Hi, and welcome to Technopoly 411. I'm Nick. And I bet you're wondering what all this crap is on the table in front of me. Well, give me just a few minutes and uh, I'll show you and explain. Here I am, assembling the Genus Camera Rail Kit. Uh, This is a modular system for building up a camera to the way you need it for a particular shoot. Here I'm starting with a shoulder pad and counterweight, which will allow me to wear the camera, and then I move on to building the handlebars. Now, a few notes about this system. Uh, First off, this video was sped up to about 400%, and I was able to complete the entire kit from nothing to a complete system in about 15 minutes by myself. A system that normally you would have a director of photography and some camera assistance to put together. Here I have the rails put together with the handle grip, and I'll move on to the matte box. Now a few notes about the matte box. Not only does it help you control the light simply having the box, it also comes with the French flag attachment and two filter boxes. Uh, The first of which is a standard 4-inch film filter, and the second of which is a uh, a film filter rotator. So if you have a polarizer or an adjustable ND, you can put it in uh, in that slot. Now on to this fun doohickey in the middle here we call a follow focus unit used for a bunch of things but there's an adjustable gear head on there that allows me to tune how sensitive the focus is to my touch also the white disc on the outside is a dry erase marker board so commonly in professional shoots you'll see x's on the floor for actors to stand in and the photographer or director of photography would have a mark on that white disc for where he needs to be to focus Here I've just added the Swivy screen to the back of the camera. It's a great three inch screen for anybody that doesn't already have an articulating mount like the D60 I'm using. Uh, It comes with a sunshade and a rotator that's fully articulating and it's around 300 bucks. So the camera's all set. We have it moving onto the rail. We're gonna test and fine tune everything. That lens is actually going to use the lens adapter to hook into the map box, making sure that there's no light leak. But first, I need to loosen it up a little bit here and put that uh, final piece of the fo- follow focus back in place. Silly me. Um, you slide that on there and essentially it just adds teeth to the focus of the lens that you're using. Good practice is to buy one or two of those. In fact, one for each lens that you plan on using in the video setup, and then just leave them on rather than having to keep taking them on or taking them off and putting them back on. Here you'll see me slide that white follow focus back in towards the middle, setting the gears in place. I'm going to take a couple seconds to adjust the follow focus unit. Uh, It actually has some safe stops so I can't apply too much pressure or try overturning the lens in either direction. Uh, So a lot of little things to change there, but like I said, in 15 minutes I went from a bunch of metal pipes to a full camera rig I can wear on my shoulder. And there we are. So this is the Genus Digital SLR High Definition Camera. So a great kit, great shoulder pad, great counterweight, lots of options from Genus. I really love their line, guys. For my Gadget Gopher rating, I gotta give them a full five. They thought of everything. They've got the right components, they've got durability. I mean, you can probably hear every time I screw up. These are nice metal poles. These are not going to just fall apart mid-job, you know, and they even put the the threading in it so you can screw two together, right? So a lot of extensions, a lot of options, and if you're looking to get into videography with a DSLR camera, I don't think there's any better way.